All right, this is a brief recap for June the 20th. Uh, we had uh, talked about this being a red day down, and our first expected bounce came off of the upper valley area here, which, uh, as you see, it bounced right off of that here, came up, and then continued to, to head down. So the point of control at 33.25 uh, which is what it is now. It was, uh, I think it was a little bit higher than that uh, earlier. But, um, matter of fact, let's look at what that was. Oops. No, I guess it was a 33.25. Okay, in any event, we came down to 34 as the low. Uh, we'll hit this tomorrow, or perhaps in the overnight. And then, likely by the end of the week, um, and, and certainly uh, possible before then, We'll, we'll get to the low value area here. So let's take a look at some of the data from that move. Because we were coming right down in here uh, earlier this morning and uh, looking at you know, where this thing was going to turn again. And uh, we you can see some buyers got got caught up here and uh, that's that's too bad but that's what happened and then we hit it down that would have to be tested it was over here uh, there was somewhat uh, uh, somewhat of a uncertain low here just before the close. So we, we tested that and then in the last 15 minutes we dropped even lower. Now we're gonna head back there. But uh, that's that's the footprint as you can see. Well, let's look at the premium. So there was the low at um, just going into 11.30 and an another very big bar, a slightly divergent bar, but a big bar down, very naked and certainly indicative of a future uh, drop. But that was the original drop into that upper value area that we just referred to. Now as the market uh, went into the area of repair, and we talked about that, that right in here in the 40s, if you look at, at uh, our previous video, we had a lot of area of repair in here. And so when we dropped into that initial low, it stood to reason that we would go up there to repair that before heading back down and get, and filling in even more of the volume, which is, again, that was uh, yeah, pretty easy to predict. It really was. Uh, we had, in fact, predicted uh, the low in the last half hour uh, based upon the original high of the day, which is uh, two red days back-to-back, uh, -back, one up, one down. It's, uh, it's, uh, Somewhat unusual, but it uh, does, of course, happen. So we came down 
hit that uh, initial low, hit it back up, repaired that, hit it back down. And uh, then that's, of course, uh, when we finally came into this uh, low. That was pretty, um, pretty classic, pretty classic. And then even exceeded the uh, second uh, standard deviation on the IB. Interesting. <clears throat> Let's go back and look at the premium, though. So you had a good opportunity for a long trade in here. You really did. And uh, as the market uh, moved back into this uh, uh, range highlighted in gray here, we found some, some support right at that level. And then the uh, directional bars, the white line here, Finally found some support in there. Premium was divergent, and uh, up we went. So all of that was repair uh, up to the VWAP up in here. And then as we came down, you could notice that we're still looking at an uptrend. Here, here, here. We're still in an uptrend. And then finally, it just manages to break the VWAP, that cyan colored line here. We head up, lots of selling in there. Premium is divergent, 228 versus 226 over here. And interestingly enough, you've got a gap right there. There's a big obvious gap in here which got filled later on, so there was another good reason to uh, to take that short because of this gap. And if you're not seeing it, let me show it to you. Okay, right there. Big gap. Well, it's not a real big gap, but it is a gap nevertheless. Gaps get filled, and down she came uh, to fill that. Okay, we can erase that. So then we move back up, we've got that divergence, then this divergence, boom, boom. And here's where, again, the premium becomes really uh, a complement, a supplement uh, to the order flow. Premium can tell you things that the order flow does not, and vice versa. And so here, where you've got buying at the top, you would anticipate, well, really, that needs to be needs to be tested there, uh, but in fact, uh, you know, you've got uh, a lot of selling here on the tick down, more selling uh, and on the last uh, tick up, and then down we come again. So now what we should see, if this is going to be sustained, is lower lows on the premium. So let's just move that forward. Let's get out of the drawing mode here. Okay. So this low, lower still, equal low here. So there's again where the premium is giving you a heads up that the order flow is not. I get we, we, we really want to test where we're at when we break this low. So this doesn't really count because we're already at a higher low. But now here, we're at a lower low. So we're still going lower. Now the footprint there, not, no real buying there. And we break it again. 
and we do have buying here. So you might expect this to go up, and it's to some extent true. But the premium is giving you even more validation that the trend is still down. Look at the numbers. 282, 92, 94, 307. Okay, we're still going down. So all that tells you is that if this thing moves up and you get some divergence on the premium, well, good time to short it. And it shows you that right in here. Here you got buying. Premium is divergent. So you might expect a little bit of a move up. You get it. And then the selling, more robust selling here. There's your high. And down you come again. Now, we're here at, um, well, let's see where it's at. 40, 25, 307. So now you're at 40, 25 again in here, and you do have a little bit of a step up on the premium. Okay, have a little bit of a step up. But if you're reading it from way back there, bear this in mind that you've pretty much started over here. Let me let me explain what I'm trying to say. Let's get this back. All right. So you've moved up. You know you're coming back to 4025. But you've actually you, you you've got the divergence here and what you want to be doing is making sure that from this point, not necessarily way back there, but from this point forward, you're continuing to get lower lows. So, you got a low here, you got a low here, and it is in here, however, that you get at least a momentary move up in the premium. Okay? Now you come down to this point, and while this is lower here than it was here, it's not as low as it is here. So now, you're, now you've got, to some degree, a little bit more of a divergent pattern. And you gotta really watch the order flow now. So as long as we're staying below the 229 level here as we barely move up at all, we see even lower lows, uh, lower highs on the premium that is, until we come you know, to this point here. And then we drop once again, and we drop Finally, on the premium, we get this divergence. Now it, it starts getting a little messy, but at least you know where you're headed based on the pattern of the day. And you finally get back to that 37, 75 level. And now it's really a matter of watching closely both the order flow and the premium, because we're basically back to where we were earlier uh, in the day. And we're at 1340. Let's just do a quick analysis here. There's the in, uh, initial low. Okay, we're not quite we're not quite there yet. We don't get there until the last half hour. So you know that's the target already. So now just we gotta read the tape, we gotta read the premium. That spike up on the premium, real clear, obvious move. Mm -mm. That's gotta get tested, and it is. 
And as we finally get divergent, we move down again, but we fail to go any lower. We get divergent here. We get buying going on. It moves a little higher and moves right back up to this descending low value area represented by the uh, green line in here. And we're now in the last hour. So we look for the divergence on the premium. We get it here. We got selling there. We get even more divergent over here. More selling there. This is going to drop. And now, knowing the pattern of the day really makes a difference. And the pattern is red down. Red downs have the lows in the last, last half hour. It is now 2 o'clock. We move up again, but we're at a lower low here on the premium. So all that having been said, these spikes up have to be read in conjunction with the premium. And as we move up, which those bars certainly do indicate we are moving up, you get the big drop in the premium here right at the top, right when the selling pops in, and right at the uh, this red line represents the standard deviation line uh, from the previous day we move right up there and that's a two standard deviation line so now okay lots of volatility here's your best opportunity to short this thing for the final move down moves up to the midpoint selling divergence and down into the last half hour where boom we take it all the way down to the uh, POC or almost to the POC okay As we drop down, let's just verify that. Okay, so that's 34 right in here. All of that is, in fact, 34. And then right there, this big bar up on the premium tells you, no, that's, that's the end of that, and the timing is perfect. So, timing, pattern, premium, order flow hmm. works for me and here we are now okay so that's the recap of the day you can see our live video from the morning uh, we, we made one error in our recording this morning I'm sorry to say but we had a real nice uh, recording of the uh, first 45 minutes worth of trading and hit the wrong button, cut off our video. We're using a new uh, platform uh, for screen recording and uh, just hit the wrong button. Instead of hitting the stop, what I did, I went to draw and when I wanted to get out of the drawing mode, I went up to here and shut off the whole video and closed it without even saving it. All I had to do was go like that. Oh well, it does happen. All right, any questions? Uh, shoot us an email. Come ask for a demo. Uh, these are some really fine tools, really fine to tools uh, to improve your trading success. I'm Rod Goosen and Spoon.